Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk, and we're going to do something with the new year, 2023, because that was, well, yesterday. So I'm going to do a New Year's type of thing like that, just in plain 2D. In other words, file new, and it's going to be a 2D animation. Great. So in this 2D, I'm going to drop in some 3D numbers, just for the fun of it. So some 3D numbers on this. I'll show you how to do that. Ironically, you don't even need the stroke for this. I'm just doing it in a 2D plane. It just makes it easy, actually. So if I want to delete this, I can. Or I can save it and do other things with it. But right now, I'm going to just drop in the first object. So it's going to be all the numbers. 2, 0, 2, 3 for 2023. So I'm going to jump into object mode. In object mode, we can add text. Boom. Now here's the funny thing on text. It's down there and you can't quite see it because it's sideways. And it's laying flat on the ground. So I'm going to do RX90. RX90 and you can see it. Hit enter. RX90 and hit return or enter. When you do that, you see the clear text there. Now here's the text right here. And you can see it in there, all the stuff you can do with it. But the easiest way is just hit tab. And backspace a bit. And I'll do two. That's for the year two. Go back to object mode. When you go into tab, you're in edit mode, by the way. And I can mess with it. I can hit S to scale it, maybe a bit bigger, G to move it over. So I got a two there. Well, I can go to the materials right here, do a new one, and just choose a base color for this. I think orange is good. So there's my base color. All right, so I got my two, which is great. I can always go off center by holding the middle mouse down. I can see it's just a flat two. It looks very cartoony, which is exactly what I want right now. So I got the two. I'm going to duplicate this. If I click it and I do a shift D, it duplicates it. So that's perfect. I want 2023 20, after all. And I need that zero. So I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to add. And it's going to be a text. And same thing. R, X, 90, enter. Have to do that. The R is for rotate, X for the X axis, and 90 degrees. Then you hit enter just so you can see it, and it lays flat to the screen. I'll do a tab to go into edit mode, delete all of those, just within, whoops, something happened. Hit tab to go into enter mode. Yeah, and hit that uh, backspace to get rid of it. And I just want a zero for now. And then back to object mode. So I'll pop that zero where I want it to be. Boom, and then make it grow. That's to scale it. Looks pretty good. Now for the material, this is a nice trick. I can just do this drop down and it shows the materials I've already got. So it's easy to match it. So I got your 202. Well, not quite. We need a little more than that. So I'll add another text. RX90. Enter. There it is. Hit the tab. The backspace thing in the upper right. And this is going to be a 3, of course. Hit the tab again to go back to object mode. Hit the G to move it. And hit the S to scale it. That's about right, so I like it. For the materials, just drop down on the existing materials, and I've got it. There it is, 2023. If I render this out, so we do render, render image. Oh. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Render, render image. We're just doing F12. Well, I can see I've got the 2023 all there, which is cool. But hey, this is animation, so let's animate this stuff. I'm going to change down here. It's no longer just grease pencil. I have these separate objects. They're text objects, aren't they? So I'm going to go to the timeline in this case. So jump to the timeline. And then I can animate it more easily. And I've got some keyframes already because I've been moving things around and setting them up like that. So I moved them, I scaled them. I can rotate too if I want to. Let's set that up. But I'm just going to go with what we've got for right now. Now, I'm going to go out the full, let's call it the full 250. It might be a lot. Click on whatever you want to affect first. I'll do this first too, I suppose. I'll just demonstrate on this. Shift D, and I'll pull these keyframes down at the very end. What did I do? Well, I'm telling you at the very end, hey, I want it to be right there. Now, somewhere in the middle, or maybe the early parts of it, I can change it. I'll actually go back here now that it's copied. And I'll take this too, and I'll move it with a G off screen. Okay. Now, when I do a Shift D on this and copy it over and bring it out a little bit, I have this. I'm going to play. It's going to start moving there. And move over to that position right there. So it just kind of pops in there. So I can have my numbers all popping together to make the 2023. Which is cool. There we go. 
I'm going to kind of just stay on this one. Maybe rotate a little bit just for fun. That's a little dangerous. Let's see if I've got that early rotation in, in place. And it does. So it kind of rotates popping in there, which looks pretty cool. But I like that. All right, so you get the idea. Um, I want it to pop in a little earlier, so I'm going to shift D on this and move that out a bit. So now it's going to do this. Pop in a little earlier and stay in place so we can read it. That's kind of important. You want to be able to read what you make, right? There it is. stays, and you read it. Good. Okay, let's do another letter. Oof, or number. Uh, same thing. So I'll take this, shift D, and bring that back out to the end. Good. Um, I'm going to do another shift D on this, just bring it out to there. So it pops into place at that spot. Now, anywhere in here, I can do anything different. The initial space here, I want to move it. Um, I'm going to do something a bit crazy. You don't have to do this. I'm going to go off screen here. I'm hitting the middle mouse and rolling it. I think I want to take this and just hit an R and rotate it all the way down. So it's upside down. Why do I want to do that? Well, let's go back by hitting the zero on the number pad. So it's sort of just kind of off and crazy. And then I'm just going to pop in. So there we go. So I was kind of off, crazy, and popping in. Um, I think I want that initial one to be really off, and then be off screen. So I'll start it there. See if that looks a little bit better. So it's going to pop in right there, flips over, and kind of falls into place. The other one flies in and rotates into place. So yeah, that's just a general idea. I'm going to take the last one here, the number two, and start to mess with this one as well. This is the same thing. The big trick to end the space is to, of course, shift D and move it to the end. That way you've got that same thing duplicated, the same keyframe duplicated. I'll do another shift D, so it starts to pop in about right there, which is perfect. Um, I'm going to have it start at the very beginning. A bit different. I'm going to scale it down like so. Move it way out here and rotate it a bit. I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to come in a little bit. Hit G, maybe move it over there, rotate a little there, scale it up a little, come out a little bit more. Same thing, but I'm going to move this maybe over that way. Rotate it over that way, let's scale it up a little bit more. Over here, same thing. You see, it's moving toward place. It wants to move in place. I'm just going to mess it with that. And scaling it, so you can kind of an up and down and all over the place type of thing like this. Let's move it a little bit more. There, rotate it a bit, scale it a bit like that. Over here, I think I'm going to have a bounce on the O. And then come way up again, so it bounces off the O. It's kind of a forward flip in a way. Actually, let's make it bigger like that, that's good. Here. I'll start to come back again. Not really forward flip, just kind of messing around with it. Way out over here, I think. And then it'll just pop into place. I like it. So let's see what we got so far. So it looks like a bit of craziness going on there. Good. All right. So we're pretty much done. You get the idea. This goes to the first thing. These are neat. These ones here just goes to the next keyframe, so you can easily find those. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the beginning. And there's three here. Let's click on that. Well, duplicate this, bring that out to the end, of course. I duplicate that again, should be out to there, I think, which is fine. I'm going to come out a bit here, I think. And on this guy, I'm going to do a, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing. Come back here, shift D, bring it out to there, roughly. And somewhere in the middle, I'm going to have it just freak out. So S on the X axis. Oof. Kind of scale on the x axis really crazy, and then it'll go back to normal because that's what we had a keyframe right there. Boom! So that's the whole thing. So I got this 2023 playing now. There it is. Maybe it looks normal. The little dots won't render, it just marks your center of rotation, your origin. Boom! 2023. That's it. That's how you do it. So, kind of fly in letters, numbers, things like this made really easy in 2D, even though they're 3D objects. That's how you deal with it, that's how you play it. So hey, happy 2023 everyone. Hope it is a wonderful year. Enjoy.